ahora vamos a escuchar a Patrick Long sobre sus impresiones del Porsche 919 Spider. Patrick Long, el otro piloto de la fábrica de Porsche. Well, Patrick, uh, here we are the Secret of the Americas with the new Porsche 919 Spider, and uh, you were you were driving. Uh, I was behind you, and you were in the Turbo S 911 Turbo S. I mean, what an experience! Thank you very much, for, first, for like leading me into this thing, and like. Uh, Um, obviously, you're much more experienced than any of us here, but uh, I want your impressions from the car, both as a race car driver and a regular driver. Yeah, it's, um, it's a car that surprised me. Um, I knew that it would be efficient. I knew that it would be fast, but I wondered if it would give me that emotion. I'm a, I'm a fan of cars, a fan of racing, and the first time I drove the car my mind wasn't on technology my mind wasn't on you know cutting edge evolution it was really like this thing is loud it's high performing yeah. it's great on the brakes so the first thing was the old school uh generation of of cars is what really rang to me and then when i started pushing the limits um the torque vectoring the rear steer the the stability management those allowed me to really get up to speed quick and that's the great part of the technology The final element is that the, the hybrid system didn't interrupt my ability to have fun and go fast, but it really added to my chance to decelerate, accelerate, and even you know that all-wheel drive off the corner where um, when that, the hybrid engine, the electricity is, is active, you really get a good pull out of the corner. Yeah. So a lot of fun. So if, uh, let me ask you this. If, if you were blindfolded, and you didn't know what car you were going to drive, and you get into the car, and then they take uh, the blindfold from your eyes, then you start driving, you probably wouldn't know that there's electricity in the car, I mean, like uh, an electric power in, in the car, right? Absolutely. You, you do not feel um, it engaging uh, or charging or discharging, um, and that's the refinement that we didn't have in the beginning when we started with the GT3R race car yeah. with the hybrid. And these guys have worked hard on making it so linear that it doesn't even remind you. Um, the only cool part and the only reason I did know I was a hybrid is I like driving it in the E mode because it's, <laughs> yeah. it's you're doing 60 miles an hour in silence. It's, it's, exactly. it's I feel like I'm in the future. Exactly. Well, that's exactly what the, that's the tagline for, for the car, like the, the, the sports car of the future. And not only that, I mean, we're already driving here from the hotel to the Secret of the Americas in the uh, Panamera S hybrid, which has some of that technology in this. So this technology really, uh, I think it's going to be here forever in, in both aspects of uh, autos, right? Yeah, it's uh, very cutting edge. Um, my initial questions was, would it feel heavy? Would there be too much uh, settings and systems and All of those questions were answered quickly. These guys at Porsche have spent enough time on this car. I should have never doubted them. But uh, I have to say, <laughs> I, was, one of those? <laughs> I, was, I was wondering, because um, I'm very old school. I, I enjoy driving yeah. 70s and 80s 911s because I like shifting with the H pattern. But oh, I, yeah. I, they've made me a believer, and I'm pretty hard to please. Um, so I think you agree. It's, um, it's a car that gives you a lot of emotion. And to me, that's what it's all about, emotion. Yeah. I mean, it's enjoyment. And if that comes from you, and, and, and you obviously you work for Porsche, but even if you didn't, I think uh, these um, doubts that might be with the electrification of sports cars, I mean, there's going to be still some people that say like, ah, I don't want a Porsche with an electric car. They didn't want a Porsche, an SUV Porsche. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, uh, and they love it now. So I think that element, I mean, people have to really sit in the car and hopefully have a chance to drive it to understand what is it, right? Right. I work for Porsche, but I get paid to race their cars. I don't have to love, you know, evolution and change, yeah. but this car surprised me. And I think for the people who aren't sure and think that the, the technology and the new innovations and supercar and hybrid don't mix, I just ask them to drive it and then I answer that question. <laughs> yeah. So um, do you think this car, the 918 Spider, will be ever be in a, in a high, high performance uh, race, uh, uh, like the ones that you do? I, I don't think there's any plans for that but it surely could be very capable um the way that the engine coming from our rs spider program the combustion engine the hybrid technology a lot of the guys that worked on our hybrid race car i see on this program um it has so much racing in it already that it would really do well but I don't know if racing is ready for this much. It, it would be, you know, we had we were given all a hard time with the GT3R, yeah. so I think they would give us a hard time with this car as well because it 
you're not in the pits for fuel. You have extra traction. You have extra braking capabilities. Some would say that's the unfair advantage. Yeah, you have too many advantages, yeah. right? And then you have someone like, uh, like you uh, behind the wheel. <laughs> yeah, but if you look at the LMP program, um, there's a lot of the similarities in this hybrid program with our new 919. Yeah. But in GT racing, specific to where this frame would race, GT will evolve there in the future for sure. But I think prototype and LMP is where it's happening right now. And you already see with what Audi's doing, with what Toyota's mm -hmm. doing, with uh, what Porsche is now doing. You know, hybrid is here. It's already here in motorsport. Just we need a couple more years before it's in GT. Yeah. And uh, what about you, Patrick? What have you been doing this uh, this year? We are racing two cars in the new United Sports Car Championship, which is the merger of ALMS and Grand Am. Uh, so far, we've had Daytona and Sebring. Um, my car just won Sebring last weekend, so that was a great victory against the big fight from Corvette, mm -hmm. um, Viper, uh, BMW. They really challenged us, so it's a great season to be involved there. And uh, driving a lot of vintage historic cars in my off weekends and uh, enjoying the California weather. Absolutely. And uh, so how, how is that, uh, the merge of the, the, the two series working out? Um, is it better? What, what, what has changed? I think it's in a period of transition. So it's not perfected yet, um, but we're aligning. We're, we're getting the Democratic and the Republican Party together. So it's not going to be <laughs> it's easy. Not easy. Yeah. But at least you know where to go on the weekend to watch sports car racing yeah. in North America. You no longer have to choose one or the other. And if you look at what IndyCar did in the past when they merged back together, it takes about a season yeah, and, then, season two, yeah. and then you forget that there was even two series. So it's the right thing for our sport. Okay. Yeah, and uh, we're sitting here in the Secret of the Americas where they held the Formula One uh, uh, race here in November. Uh, this year, I think, is yeah, uh, same around the 18 or something like that. What, uh, what uh, the U.S. is evolving, you think, is accepting more Formula One? Because for some time, I mean, that's why the ra races went away. I mean, here in the U.S., like, the fan base is not maybe that big. Yeah, I'm not confident that Formula One will ever be a household sport in the U.S. or a household motorsport. But there are enough people to fill this place up in the yeah. U.S. There are enough <laughs> Formula One fans. But what surprised me the first year that I was here for the inaugural race was it's a great central point for a lot of North and South America. Yeah. So you had a lot of Canadians, a lot of South Americans, Central Americans. That's great. It doesn't only have to be America here. I just think Austin is a great city. It represents sort of a, a new age Texas. So it's Texas light, if you will. And <laughs> yeah. that's that's great for people to come from all over the world and experience America. I think this is a great city to represent uh, a, a lot of America. Excellent. Well, thank you very much again, Patrick, for uh, to you and to Porsche in North America to bringing us here a Secret of the Americans. And, and again, we, can, we could talk like hours about the 19 spider but uh, i won't take more of your time you're busy here and i think people are waiting to go with you uh do some hot laps so thank you very much patrick thank you for having me ya regresamos desde el circuito de las américas con más del porsche 19 spider yo soy javier mota esto es auto 060 este programa fue una producción de national latino broadcasting